Hmm, sorry. Hello. Welcome back to <laughs> to the moon. I hit the record button and then immediately coughed out of nowhere. I was like, okay. Hello, Johnny. Where is Johnny going? He's definitely not sticking by the playground. Way to follow mom's orders, huh? There were a couple of kids sitting over here just doing whatever. He didn't pay any attention to them, so he doesn't remember them at all. Where's he going? Wow. Well, okay, so he wandered off the trail and found a cool place. But let's face it, he could have also been eaten by a pack of tigers. Tigers don't travel in packs, idiot. It was just an expression. You know, when I was a kid, my grandpa took me stargazing every year. Yeah? <coughs> there was a hill outside the city that we'd stay at. Same one every year. We'd watch the stars till daybreak. Daybreak. Well, I did, mostly. He just carried the telescope for me. Of course. The thing was, though, Ma didn't want me to stay up late. Grandpa always told her we were just camping and had the telescope inside the car. That's all good, but when we got back in the morning, I had to pretend that like I'd actually slept. So, in conclusion, that's the story of how I started my caffeine addiction. <laughs> You're terrible. I know. Wow. It's a shame, though. All these nice memories, lost and never found. And who knows how many more like it. Well, as you say, just take it moment for moment, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, I told you packs of tigers dwell here. Wait, don't go. I'm Johnny. What's your name? You're at my spot. Your spot? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hug this place all to myself. Um, you want to join me? Are you here to watch the stars? Are you? Just look at him. Do you know there, did you know there were so many lights in the sky? Yes. Oh, uh, I did too. 
You said this was your spot, right? Only during the carnival. Not a fan of the crowds? Me neither. You know, you still haven't told me your name yet. I'm not telling you. Everybody makes fun of it in school. Why? They say it makes them want to go to the washroom. Uh, okay then. Well, it can't be worse than John. I mean, everywhere in the world, nearly everyone's named John. Even in India? Probably. What's wrong with that? Hmm? What's wrong with having a name that everyone has? Well, it's boring, I guess. I mean, if everyone has it, then what's the point? I wouldn't mind. Just for once, to have the same name everyone else has. <coughs> it's like those lights in the sky. They all look the same from here, but that doesn't make them any less pretty. Eh, I suppose. What do you think those stars up there are anyways? My dad said they're giant burning spheres of gas. Oh, I bet he's just making it up. <laughs> Why would he lie to me? Because, you know, that's what grown-ups do. They make things up. Santa, Easter Bunny, kangaroos, stuff like that. <laughs> kangaroos exist. Kangaroos do exist. Have you ever made an Easter Bunny out of stars? Like a constellation? Yes. Um, of other things. Never tried a rabbit, though. Do you want to make one? Yeah. We'll make the bestest constellation ever. Let's see who makes one out first. Okay, we'll start in three. Three, two, one, and start. I see it. Uh, where? In the sky. Uh, but where in the sky? Think big. Eh? Bigger than all the others. I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I see it. Tell me what you see. There, right? There's the two ears and head. What else? And there. There's his two feet. Yes, what else? And, and the moon. The moon is its big round belly. Hmm. So, what do you think they really are? The stars, I mean. I... I've never told anyone, but... I've always thought they were lighthouses. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Wow, it must be so lively up there. But it isn't. They can see all the other lighthouses out there, and they want to talk to them. But they can't, because they're all too far apart to hear what the others are saying. All they can do is shine their lights from afar. So that's what they do. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm actually getting emotional here, and it's... A hard to voice act what I do, but at the same time, I feel like that's what she's feeling. And they shine their lights at the other lighthouses and at me. Why you? Because one day, I'm going to befriend one of them. That bag, what's in it? Oh, it's the prize I won from Whack-A-Mole. Did you get to play that game? I tried, but I'm too clumsy. What did you get from it? I got a thing. I don't really know what it is. It 
It's some kind of a weird duck beaver thing. May I see it? It looks so strange. I wish I could win one myself. Johnny! Eek! That's my calling. Here. Uh, you know what? Keep it. It's yours. Mine? Yeah, I can always get another one. I don't like to brag, but I'm totally the best at that game. Will you be here next year? Yep, will you? Yes. Same place, same time? Yes. What if you forget or get lost? Then we can always regroup on the moon, silly. Right on the rabbit's tummy. Johnny! Coming! Oh yeah, I forgot my hacky sack in the bag. You said you're clumsy, right? Maybe it'll help. <sighs> Does everything make sense now? <laughs> Oh my god, I remember the scene the first time I was like, Oh, if they ever got lo get lost? Wait, does that mean... Don't tell me you didn't see that coming. And here I thought this was going to be an inspirational childhood dream story. I should have known that some girl would come along and turn it into a cheese fest. I suppose now we know what... We must do to send him to the moon. Wait, you aren't actually going to do it, are you? It's our job, Neil. It's what we were contracted to do. Damn it, Ava, wait! Ava! I know you're in here. Received note, moon. Objective, where Johnny and River are to regroup if they get lost from each other. <coughs> Let me do a quick save. <coughs> mm. Intense music is playing. Turn around. Neil, I know what you're planning to do. I know that you know. Yeah, well, I know that you know that I... Look, our contract is to send... The <coughs> our contract is to send him to the moon. Sorry, God. Uh, there's voices. I'll note that I'm still recording in that same previous session. So, and the only way for that to happen is if Johnny is motivated to do so. Because that means removing River, then what's the point? The reason why he even wants to go to the moon in the first place is because she died. I know, but we are legally bound by the contract to specifically... Screw the contract! I didn't take this job to make her miserable, Ava. I don't know about you, but I signed up to help the freaking geezers die happy. Me too, and I like this job. But if we go directly against our legal obligations, we'd be in for court hearings. We'll appeal. We know that Johnny'd be happier to not go to the moon. Johnny would be happier with a lot of alternate life tangents, Neil. We're not here to play God. Our job is to give him what he signed for. Well, we happen to know what he wants better than he does. Look, I'm only risking loser because I believe in her, and... What do you mean, risk? You're removing her! And besides, I will make up for it. Make up for it how? We're running out of time. Just trust me. That says the one who pushed me off the freaking lighthouse! 
<laughs> I love how they did that. Did you just... Freaking light data. If using your powers doesn't disable my controls entirely, Ava. Whoa. Booby traps. Really, Ava? Just trying to buy some time. Gee, thanks for telling me. Move, use Wacid. Or, not Wacid, the arrow keys, rather. Hey! Okay. Hey! Hi! This is some expensive piece of equipment you're tossing. Seriously, just stay put and wait till I'm done. Don't piss off. I remember that I have to dodge into a classroom somewhere. Look, don't make me exit this whole thing and unplug you. Would you really risk distorting his memories as they are? Just stop trying, please. This won't take long. Ah, uh, not again. Or come and find me at the end of the hall. Great. Oh, you've got to be freaking kid. Is this a joke to you, Ava? Dear Lord, they aren't just zombie Avas. They're zombie of us. <laughs> D don't come any closer. I got plants. Oh, yeah, that's right. This part is actually like wacid, which is really interesting. So, the, this is... <laughs> This is some ingenious design right here, if I do say so myself. Whew. These things are good for something after all. This is some ingenious design, if I do say so myself, because... I, I remember doing this and being a little confused, because, like... You know, it tells you you, you can use Wacid. And so I'm, like, thinking, you know, keyboard, you know? Not, you know, you know left and right on the keyboards. You know, not, I'm not thinking Wacid because Wacid isn't what I've been using up to this point in the game. <coughs> but Wacid is what you use to control the plants. Oh my god, it's zombie of us. I must have been the one where I remember ducking into the classroom. Killing the zombie of us. This whole thing is just a loop. Yes, it is. Oh, this. <laughs> what the? Ava? What happened? Ava? Alright, I gotta go back to holding mouse and keyboard now. So I can actually, like, interact with stuff. It's River. What else? Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Now the whole construct's messed up. To help you understand her condition, I'd rather not. Why is that? Oh, okay, there's a picture there. Oh! <laughs> Hello, horses. Just out of nowhere, horses. What was that? What? Hello? Wait, don't go. I'm Johnny. What's your name? She's really screwing something up. Look, it was a long time ago. There's no data or time, Johnny. Hello, Neil. Morpheus? What? It's Ava, you idiot! No, we're the only ones here. Listen, whatever you've been doing, stop it. 
We might not know what Johnny wants, but we know what he doesn't want. And what he doesn't want is exactly what you are accelerating. It's already done, Neil. Why don't you come out now? I think we're basically at the end of the game. So I don't want to end it off here and then it's like, you know, the next episode's like five minutes long, you know? I do remember that we're very, very close to the end, though. Like, that was basically the final boss fight type thing. River! What did you do to her? Relax. She's merely going elsewhere. You know, it's one thing to disable my controls to feed me some olives. But this is way out of line. I'm sorry, but this just won't go anywhere if you keep on resetting the memory. At this point, this is the only way. I'm asking you to trust me. So please, just calm down and wait here. Then just pull the trigger already. Where are you going? There's just one last thing I need to do. Poser, there's no need to visualize a door. What's with all this melodrama, Neil? What are you fighting so hard for? This? Why are you fighting so hard for this? Forget it, there's no time. Everything will be all right, man. Just turn around. Okay, okay. Hey, 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 what do you... Shh. Ahem, hello. Sorry, kid. It's already started. Come on, they're gonna hog all the good tables. They're all the same, sheesh. Nah, Joey's right. The ones by the kitchen smell better. Totally, and olive refills are just steps away. Eck, olives. Joey? Saving him doesn't justify it. He can always find another river, Neil. But he'll only have one brother. Come on, we're in the way. Star, a writer, a firefighter, and you, Johnny, an astronaut.
Hmm. He actually made it, huh? Do you sound impressed? Whatever happened to we always succeed because we are awesome. This isn't a success. Oh, lighten up. We're in NASA. We don't have much time left. Let's, all, let's at least check this place out. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Once again, trying to use Wasset to move. Please wait here. Someone will come and show you around shortly. It's that same pack. Sheesh, he really likes this backpack. How pathetic. All this trouble for just some girl. That's what I thought you'd say, Neil. How pathetic. All this trouble just for some girl. There you go. Good to have you back. Yeah, yeah. To the Moon, the story about a lame duck's attempt to become an astronaut. A novel by Joel Wiles. Can't believe this crap actually sold. This isn't the real world, Neil. His brother wrote a novel all about him trying to get to the moon. Hmm. Four bars of memory to proceed. All right. This is just going to be a long episode for the finale. Er, is it me or is this elevator smaller on the inside? Let's go to the second floor. Because I assume we were on the first floor. Is this really what NASA looks like, though? Talk. Oh, my God. This is the Mission Control Center. There's not much going on now, but you'll see it live one day. I half expected to see Zordon on that screen. It's not here. Uh, what? Let's just go. Doop doop. So, do you think last century's moon landing was less of that, Neil? Let's not. <clears throat> Can always split this episode up in post if it turns out to be too long. And here's the centrifuge. If you're lucky, you'll learn to hate it. You'll learn to hate it one day. Ah, yes, the spinny thing. It's not here either. 
What are you talking about? Come on, we don't have long left. What's up here, by the way? Your records are excellent, but we'll have to monitor your status closely in the coming sessions. Nothing of importance. I like that he always has to get into the, uh, the, the elevator. I hope the real NASA has bigger elevators. I'm sure that does. They probably move a lot of people up and down pretty regularly. Shell's still under heavy maintenance. We may only view it from here for now. Uh, this isn't good. Perhaps there's somewhere we missed. Or you need to work on your communication skills. Whoa. Yeah. You know what's the best part of it? What? The very top and bottom of the shuttle? I'd have to agree. Oh, how a pity anyone who can't see those particular parts. Indeed, especially its nose at the top. When maintenance finishes, it probably won't look the same. Yeah, now's the only time. <laughs> the joke is because... You know, this is the farthest up you can go. Or the farthest down you can go. You can never see the top or the bottom. <laughs> I love it. Oh, those fourth wall breaks. Hmm. Oh, that opened up. Now they've got four bars. Of memory link. What a small room. <laughs> I wonder if the real NASA looks like this. Probably not. It's constructed in part with Johnny's beliefs, after all. Ah, yes. A wiki of existing fact of existing facts tainted by personal fairy tales. It's odd, though, to hear birds and see none. Sorry, Neil. I really thought there was a good chance. What? And this is the break room. Here's David. He's a mission specialist. Nice to meet you. At least he got into NASA, I guess. You think he made it to the end? Even if he did, it'd take more than just a few years to become an astronaut. Let's hurry and find the last link, then. I'd hate to miss the finale. What's going on? Are we out of time? I... I don't know. Ah, and here's our other new recruit. River, right? Good to have you on board. Hello, I'm John. Phew. I almost thought she wasn't... What the... Ava? But you deleted her. No, I told you, I just moved her. What she does with her life here is still up to her. But this new world, it's based on public data and Johnny's own beliefs. And since River's data as an individual is not recorded in the public domain, it all comes from Johnny. But even then, that merely increases the odds. How are you sure that it'd work? I wasn't could have gotten very badly, you know. You're never one to take risks, Neil. Let's just say I won this round. Mm, excuse me. We still have two spare helmets, right? <coughs> I think Johnny would appreciate some company.
My god, I have to eat as soon as I am done recording this episode, but as this episode is the final one, I have to wait till this game ends. Ah, dang. He wrote himself, apparently. Rather repetitive, if you ask me, though. What's it called? To the Moon. I like that name. Now they're older. Oh, there you are. You two should get some rest. Tomorrow's the big day. Hmm. God dang, this episode's long. <laughs> Remember, I, I don't know what this is gonna be in post, but this sudden you just might. Meh. Look. Did you think they would make it? Ha, did you? No. The way she is, I didn't think she would succeed. But I... I guess I was wrong. All the better then, isn't it? Yeah. I'm happy for them. There's Ava. You know, that's my brother in that shuttle. Wow! Yep, I once wrote a book about this too. With a less optimistic ending, <laughs> I might have to change that after all. Lily! Hey, Dr. Watch, right? Thank you for letting us in here. Yeah, yeah. Ava's the one who requested it. Did you find out why he wanted to go to the moon? Sure. And what all happened here? Let's just say it was a bunch of sappy cheese that sorted itself out. <laughs> you know, there were quite a few times last night when I thought we lost Johnny. I think he consciously held on to wait for you two. He's rather patient. He's rather patient then. I just hope it's worth the wait. Go on now. Your colleague's waiting. I thought this might be a good view. Good enough to cut off the traffic, eh? Sure. Even if, even if they were real. Well... This is it. All we've worked for. Ready to initiate it? Come up here. Uh, why? Why not? You're just gonna push me off the ledge again, aren't you? Probably. But the view's worth the odds. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<clears throat> ay, ay, ay. Because one day, I'm going to befriend one of them. A lot of stock RPG Maker sounds, but... Hmm. Music by Cat and Gale, Ken Gao, maybe, and Lara Shigihara. I seriously love all the work that Lara Shigihara does. She does such amazing music, she really does. Well, that's it. I think. I don't. I know there's like an ending thing, but I. I don't know if there's an ending cutscene after the credits or if that was the DLC that came out. Man, I know a lot of these names scrolling by though. I've used a lot of their stuff <laughs> in my own RPG Maker projects. CCOA, Zeriub, Near Fantastica, Sephiroth Spawn. I recognize every one of those names. I have used their stuff. I, I, I really wanted to get this done in one session, and I'm glad that I was able to. Reaper Games. I don't know what I'm going to do with this last episode, but you guys will know. 
because you guys will have seen what I did with the last episode by this point. And if I split it up or if I just left it all as one, but I don't, I feel like breaking that up is going to be bad. The, yeah, the ending cutscene. I was right. I did think there was an ending cutscene. Here he is. Thanks. Off you go now. I still can't believe Johnny just built the house to Lily like that. <laughs> Who else was there to give it to? Us? Terrible place for burials, though. If there's a landslide, they'd be swimming with the fishes. So a little too soon. Nah, it's never seen enough. Nice new ringtone. Hello, Ava here. We're on our way. New patient. New patient. Let's roll. <laughs> what? Episode one to the moon. Done. <laughs> Uh, I love that. That is to say, as far as I'm aware, there is not a sequel that came out. There was DLC, but there was never a sequel, so. And that's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed To The Moon. If you did, please feel free to subscribe. Check the video description down below for a link to the playlist. Also, once again, since this is the end of a series, I will remind you of the Discord link down below. Check that out. Come sit, chat with us, things like that. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next series. See you later.